glitched out again. So sorry about that. Hopefully this doesn't become a continual thing where it keeps glitching out. And hopefully the the, the story or the autosave picked me up somewhere close to where we were. I believe uh, we were we were heading to Riverwood because we there was a dragon spotted and as the Messiah I think it's best to get some dragon slaying going so we're gonna go ahead and do that but uh, yeah um, I hope you're enjoying it so far uh, I, I stopped and watched some of the footage and so oh cool we're at a good spot so there he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time yeah, I didn't see him the first time either. Oh, man. My goodness. The sensitivity is just so low. But, um... Yeah, we've already heard that guy, so we can just go ahead and keep going. But we want to go to Riverwood and tell them about the... Oh, no, the wolves again! Uh. At least he's with us this time. You have no idea how much more fun this game is when you die once and it, it's done like it adds so much stress but thrill to even the most basic encounters because before I mean I'd play this and I'd charge into anything and just be like oh I'll die whatever but now that there's so much on the line it's just yeah probably best if we split up oh oops I keep pressing the wrong buttons to run because I played at Borderlands a lot with my brother, which I think I'll be releasing a Let's Play of that soon, or maybe it's already been released. I don't know when I'm releasing all these videos. But um, wait, where's okay? Riverwood's this way. Um, cause I'm gonna try to avoid using the map and all that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I've been playing Borderlands a lot, and Shift and that game is run. And yeah, so sorry if I like randomly start walking. Okay, let's go off the beaten path here. Let's uh. Let's be adventurous. Let's just scale some rocks here. Jesus takes it like a man. I have some mods in this game to kind of improve the graphics. So I hope it looks beautiful for you guys. It's a pleasant adventure. Maybe if I put this stuff away. Oh, there we go. He runs so much faster with that. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to complete the whole story or if I'm going to... Um, go off and do different things. It just kind of depends whatever it seems like Jesus would be doing. And I feel like Jesus right now would hear about a dragon and go try to stop it. Riverwood. A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? Are you feeling sick? It was as big as the mountain and black as sick. night. It flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Excuse me. Nobody believes me, but I tell you, I saw a dragon. I didn't see it, but I saw what it did. It was pretty insane. I believe you. Alrighty, who am I supposed to talk to here? A little arrow there. I'm supposed to, I think it was his sister. There she is. Excuse me, miss. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. Roloff said you could help me out. Rayloff? Rayloff, my bad. I know him. Um, he's a friend. We were, we're buds. He promised you could help. You really are Rayloff's friend. I'll be glad to help you. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? Um, well, to be honest, a dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it, and um, Rolafio and I escaped together. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. What was that noise? Although, it would explain what I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been seeing things. Well, a f dragon flew this way, you well... He was a dragon. Rayleigh will tell you the same thing, and you'll probably believe him more than you believe me. I'm just, you know, Jesus of Skyrim. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Well. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. 
We need to get word to Jarl Valgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Well, sure, I can do that. Anything I can do to help. But since I'm here, I might as well go talk to people. Maybe I can recruit some disciples. Where's the inn? Is this the inn? That's a house. Um, trader. That's a trading place. Where's the inn? Huh? This looks any. That's a house. Oh, and it's locked. Can't go in there. Huh? This place looks big over here. Yeah, this is surely the inn. Sleeping giant inn. I like the idea of a sleeping giant. I got almost ambushed by those giants earlier, so... If one's sleeping, it's my pal. Who's this guy? Sven? Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already... Oh, nothing, sorry. I don't know what that was about. You look like a traveler. Ah, quit so moving away. Heard new stories. Um You like the same girl? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Yeah, well, that, yeah. Well, that seems sarcastic, though. Two people spending time together never blossoms into a courtship. Uh, why don't you do something about it? If you like her, you got to be persistent. I mean, there's that whole prayer thing and all that, but, you know, f faith without actions is dead. you you got to have some action in there, man. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindol as little more than a friend, but why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindol. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I don't know. Is there somewhere I can buy Lucan's some fresh got a supplies? Bit of everything at the Riverwood Trader. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. All right, thanks, man. You've been oh, oops, wrong button. I'd better go. Yeah, you, I gotta get going too. Oh, hey, hey Gore. You in need of a companion, <gasps> friend? I reckon I've killed more men than there are oh. minutes in a day. Well, shucks, man. Uh, <laughs> a murderer guards guards. <laughs> You've killed more than. Uh, Lot few, huh? At this rate, I guess I better change it to seconds then. <laughs> but who's counting? Um. Well. Follow me. I need your help, but I'm not gonna have you kill people. Let's go. Just remember, everything's better bloody. You know, everyone dies. Um, that'll make it. That's a mod I have. That'll make it so he can die even if he gets sick attacked. Normally, companions kind of have a thing where they curl into a little ball and stuff and can't die, but yeah. You know. Um. Let's go back. I, I want to make sure he knows not to kill people. Stick close to me and avoid combat. There we go. Now this freaking psychopath won't go around killing everyone. Because I want my disciples to follow me and all that, but I don't want... I don't want them just murdering people. She looks busy. Let's talk to this guy. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Yeah, sure. I have a lot of junk just from... No, oh, you, you won't buy my rings? Hey, that blacksmith right. outside will. Alrighty. I got my first disciple. We're good to go. Embry, I didn't talk to you. You look worse than I feel. Here, have a drink on me. Any ale or mead? Now, everything in moderation, good sir. You don't want to become a drunk. But I am more than willing to help out someone in need. And I don't, I don't want to drink any of this. You go ahead. Guess what? That was originally water when I first got it. Till next time. There you go, sir. And remember the name of Jesus. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, what's your name again? Gore, let's go. Next time on Jesus of Skyrim. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing.
Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry, you had to hear that. It was a little awkward, but oh well. Hey, you're the girl that that guy has the hots for. Yo.